Good day. <laughs> so Brandon Woeful is this awesome. Okay, you already know who he is. I'm gonna show you how to edit like Brandon Woeful in the easiest way possible. This is gonna be so easy to the point where you can literally be in bed watching Netflix and still take a photo and edit like Brandon Woeful. Like, like seriously, I'm not even joking. If that sounds like something you want to do, hit the subscribe button below. Anyway, let's just get straight into it. I don't want to have any more rambling. So, step number one. Step number one, you're going to need to buy yourself a pair of fairy lights. And that's because if you look at the majority of Brandon Woeful's photos, you're going to see that he has this sort of bokeh effect. And what that means is he's got a lot of out of focus balls of light in his images. So today we're going to be using fairy lights to create that bokeh. Step number two is going to be... That's kind of four, but step number two, buy yourself a jar. The reason we're gonna be using a jar today is because if you're gonna be in bed watching Netflix, you're not gonna be able to have a model just there waiting for you to take a photo of. So we're gonna be using a jar as the subject of this photo instead of a model. Wait a second. I don't even think I have a jar myself. Just give me one sec, I'll be right back. Hey man, do you guys sell jars? So many jars to choose from. That'll do. Safety first. All right, so now that we have the jar and we have the fairy lights, step number three is gonna be combining these two to create an epic Brandon Woeful style photo. So the type of photo that I wanna try and create is gonna be me holding out the jar like so. Then I'm gonna have the fairy lights wrapped around my arm, which is gonna create this awesome bokeh effect like I was talking about before. So I'm gonna go start wrapping fairy lights around my arm. Let's see what we can get. All right, so now that we've taken the photos, it is time to put them in Lightroom and start editing them like Brandon Woeful. So we have our image here in Lightroom and obviously right from the get-go, we can see that it is completely dark. So the first step we wanna do in editing is we're gonna put the exposure up, we're gonna bring the highlights down and then bring the shadows up. So this has pretty much just evened out the photo. Now we have this nicely, correctly exposed image which we can work from. So whilst we're in the basic tab up here, we can also go ahead and put the contrast up a bit just to make those colors really pop, especially that yellow. And I might put up the clarity a little. The next step is gonna be the tone curve. And this is where we're gonna get that blue color. The blueness that we can see in this image over here, which is Brandon's photo, we're gonna get that blueness via the tone curve. I know that the tone curve can be scary and seem like this huge confusing thing that you don't even know where to start with it, but we're only gonna do one little adjustment here, which is just gonna enable us to get the color. So what we'll do is we'll go click on RGB here and we'll go down to red. And then obviously, as you can see, if we bring the reds up, that's just gonna completely fuck the image and make it completely red. But if we bring it down, it's gonna do the opposite of that, which is put some blue in it. So if you see here, we'll just bring it down a tiny bit, maybe a bit less. And now as you can see, we have this nice, clean, subtle blue tone to the image. So that's all for the tone curve, I promise. I'm not gonna confuse you. It's really simple, just creating that blue color. So we have the blue of the image, but we wanna get the orange of the image. And as you can see, the lights here, they're. They're not really orange, they're more of a yellowy, greeny colour, which we definitely don't want, unless you're going for that colour, obviously. Don't mean to offend you there. But for this editing tutorial today, we do not want that yellow-green colour, so we're going to go straight over to our yellow tab here and slide that to the left. Oop, not too much. Maybe we'll bring it just a little bit here, and then we're going to boost the saturation to help even that out with the blue, so maybe up to 50. Awesome. And then we're gonna go over to our orange tab and we're just gonna do the same thing, maybe bring that down to like 40, awesome. And then here we're actually gonna put the luminance down a tiny bit just to make sure that the highlights aren't blown out. All right, cool, so that's looking pretty good already. Like we've just done a couple things here in Lightroom. So by doing all these adjustments, it's created a bit of contrast in the image. So I wanna go back down to our back up to our shadows over here and I want to bring them up a bit just so we can see a bit more detail in the photo. And also we'll bring up the contrast again as well. And just by looking at it now, I think I want to add a bit more blue to the image. So we'll go and do that by just dragging this blue slider here down a bit more. 
something like that. And now we'll just bring the yellows a little bit more to the left, so something like that. Awesome. So that is all that we have to do to edit this photo. There's nothing more we need to do. We've got those blues, we've got those oranges. So we can see where we started off with this image here. It's kind of dark. We're not really sure what's going on. I shot it a bit underexposed to be fair, but the goal was to make it brighter and get those blue and oranges. So if we look at the after now, I think we've achieved that well. So I'm pretty happy with how this turned out considering that I literally just shot it on my bed over here. Just goes to show that you don't always need to go out with a model. You can sometimes just shoot at home and still be able to get really cool photos. So if you're gonna do a photo like this, remember to follow me on Instagram and send me a direct message once you've actually taken the photo and I'd love to check them out. So that's all from me today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something and I'll see you guys in the next one.